Hey everyone, welcome to the tutorial of Matplotlib. And today we are going to learn how to plot a histogram. So many of you must be familiar with the term histogram, with the plot histogram. Now histogram is used to plot the frequencies of your data points. So let's get started. Uh, so we have already imported our uh, Matplotlib library and the magic function of Matplotlib inline. And let's say that we have these data points to uh, plot on a histogram we have the marks of maths and english of the students respectively and we want to plot them on a histogram so let's get started let's import the marks of maths first so we'll simply call plt dot hist that is for the histogram and we will pass the name of the list we want to plot in this case which is maths so as you can see it has plotted a histogram but in this figure it is uh, quite confusing as you see you're seeing a joint uh, histogram plot so and it has uh, automatically uh, put up the it has picked up the values or from the list that is 44 is the lowest value in the list and it has automatically generated from there so let's uh, do a little bit of uh, correction here let's apply our method of r width equal to uh, 0.95 which can be of maximum uh, 1 and let's say we want our bins to be 3 so let's see our result so now it is looking a bit clearer it is having number of bins as 3 and we are having the width of each of these bins as 0.95 so our width specifies the width of each of these bins you can also reduce them uh, say you want 0.5 so it looks like this but this doesn't look good because uh, it is having a lot of gap so let's put 0 0.95 uh, now uh, one more thing you can do is uh, you can specify your own uh, bins like in this case uh, we are having numbers between 40 to 100 so let's apply a list in the bin parameter and you want bins for 40 60 80 and 100 and let's see what yeah this looks much better and it has now generated the bins for 40 to 60 60 to 80 and 80 to 100 so as you can see the frequency for the student scoring marks in math uh, from 40 to 60 is the highest uh, if you don't like the color of the bins you can always change the color say green you want the color green so this makes it green okay so these are the some of the things that you can do now uh, we are having one more subject as English so what do you want do you want to plot a separate histogram or we can also plot this in the same histogram let's copy this histogram and I'll tell you how to plot on the same histogram you mention your maths and English in the same histogram okay bins you are having same now the color for the max you are taking as green and let's say that you want color for your English subject to be blue okay so blue it is now this is the scene now so the blue represents 
your maths and the green represents sorry blue represents your english and the maths represents green so you are uh, some of you may be having a confusion so let's label this type of diagram first let's make the size of the figure a little bigger let's say we want a figure size equal to 10 by 6 okay and let's label our x-axis and y-axis as well so what is your x-axis plt dot x label let's say we are having marks on the x-axis and y-axis is the number of students so y-axis is having number of students let's have a look at the graph now so it's still missing some of the things uh, let's label these so you want a label for a label is math comma English and as you know to invoke this label function we call the method of legend ELT dot legend yeah now it is much clearer okay so another way uh, to look at this is we have been uh, plotting these uh, histograms in a vertical way of manner they're all vertical okay so what if i tell you you can also plot them in an horizontal way a horizontal axis so let's see how can we do that just copy and paste this in a different cell so that you have both sides and just apply by side of label orientation equal to horizontal okay now what you get is a horizontal graph but what things you take um, care of is these uh, x-axis is remaining as marks and y-axis remaining as students although the axes have changed but the names have not been changed so you have to change it manually so let's say x-axis now has become number of students and y-axis is now your mark y-axis having your marks and number of students is on the x-axis okay so that's it guys that's all we had for this tutorial uh, if you have any queries please feel free to comment and like and uh, subscribe my channel if you like the video